Elizabeth Y. Welcome to Cycle Stream. So today we're going to see how to avoid cross-contamination in toilets, especially during this COVID pandemic. So today's project is on smart toilets. So let's get started. So these are the required components to do the smart toilet. So you need an ultrasonic sensor, a Arduino you know, and a so motor. So now let's see how the smart toilet works. So when we walk into the toilet, the ultrasonic sensor passes the information to the Arduino you know, and the Arduino you know, activates the sewer motor to open the lid. So now let's see about the connections. The VCC pin of the ultrasonic sensor should go to the 5 volt of the Arduino and the trick pin of the ultrasonic sensor should go to the 9th pin of the Arduino and the echo pin of the ultrasonic sensor should go to the 8th pin of the Arduino and the ground pin of the ultrasonic sensor should go to the ground of the Arduino you know. Now let's see about the sewer motor connections. The ground wire of the sewer motor should co be connected to the Arduino you know and the red wire of the sewer motor should be connected to the VIN of the Arduino you know and the signal wire of the sewer motor should be connected to the 7th pin of the Arduino you know and now let's connect the battery to the battery holder and let's see how it works so when we walk into the toilet this ultrasonic sensor gets the signal and the ultrasonic sensor passes the signal to the Arduino you know and the Arduino you know activates the servo motor to open the lid and this is how a small toilet works.